Hello everyone, today is April 20th, 2022, and this is a progress update video for the residential housing project financed by KB Homes, which is uh, uh, the Bluffs, Crestline, and Aurora housing project. Three uh, housing uh, communities uh, are being built in this corner of Sweetwater Springs Boulevard and Hamasha Boulevard. This update was shot around 5 p.m. Uh, when the work, uh, workers have mostly left for the day except for a couple of workers that are working on those three homes that have been already built. I mean, have they have their you know, wooden framework already built. As you can see at the bottom of the, of the screen, there are three homes uh, that are in wooden uh framework and actually the concrete basement slab has been already uh, foundation slab the concrete foundation slab has been already uh, poured and the wooden framework has started and yeah that's 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 really really major progress major um, uh, update and uh, on this side however uh, i don't see any concrete slabs or any uh, wooden framework however I do see completion or I, I should say near completion of all, all the sewage pipelines uh, on the right side of the screen as we will approach later you will see it the this section of the construction zone uh, the work has halted and it, peop, all the workers have left and gone home for the day as, I, as you can see, there's no work here. All the tr vehicles are parked in those blue pipelines or the sewage pipes that are all lined up. And on the left side, you see the little dirt road with a little ramp. Uh, this is the one I was talking about in my previous video. And I don't know what that is for, if that's going to be a new entrance for this housing project, or is it just some kind of a temporary uh, path for the uh, construction trucks or it could also be a footpath it could be some kind of a sidewalk or a little trail for people to go and take a hike or take a walk it could be all kinds of um, you know uh, there could be all kind of purposes for a small little pathway like that this section of the hill is protected because there are a lot of in endangered species in plants in this area so this section has been protected and is not going to be affected by the construction of these three housing projects right underneath the bushes you we see some kind of a homeless encampment activity with a handful of you know clutter and garbage accumulation which i'm sure they, once the housing project is finished they're probably going to clean that up and this intersection represents Pointe Parkway and Sweetwater uh, no Pointe Parkway and Hamasha Boulevard this is not Sweetwater this is Pointe Parkway and Hamasha Boulevard the vehicles that are going at high speed that's Hamasha Boulevard, Boulevard and the two curved um, streets are Pointe Parkway now if we go back, turn around and look at this lush vegetation, this lush vegetation uh, is getting its uh, water source from the four springs because of which the street is named Sweetwater Springs Boulevard. There are four springs in the beginning of this lush vegetation which is the source of the water. I have a separate independent uh, uh, documentary video about the history of that spring and how it came to existence and how it was protected and it was actually a tourist attraction until it was completely abandoned and now it's a construction site. This section is going to be a road or actually a street that's going to be connecting um, the post office with the Pointe Parkway. So it's going all the way to the back of the Aventine housing project. That street right there. This street is going to be 
public street based on the charts that I checked out um, and the city's website, the county's website that is, uh, this is going to be public access uh, road for people to, you know, people who live in this vicinity so they can take a shortcut to go to the post office instead of going to the Sweetwater Springs Boulevard. And as we turn around and go back, we realize that even this section of the housing project has substantial amount of update. They have substantial amount of uh, road structures, uh, street structures that is visible. You could see the layout of the houses from the, uh, the way they have, you know, managed the, the land and cut out the openings for the streets and the foundations. This is the section that we were looking at at a higher elevation earlier, which represents a complete uh, wooden framework structure, or I shouldn't say complete, semi-complete wooden structure. Now right here, we have three homes, and we have one worker on the left and one worker on top of the roof who are working to finish the uh, housing project. Now this looks like a pretty big for a single family home so I don't know if this is a single family home or multi uh, unit uh, complex of uh, apartments or condominiums but it sure is a good size uh, you know, construction site, a good size house or, you know, whatever it is, a good size building. They have their own electric electricity generator, as you can see at the bottom right. They have a mobile electric electricity generator, which provides power for all the heavy duty power equipment. And the worker is going inside porter potties, which is also a part of the construction site. Now I see that there are actually three people working on this site. Those, uh, uh, the gas station that you see there, it's it has a very nice uh, chicken restaurant. It's some kind of a uh, fried chicken like Kentucky fried chicken. I don't know what the name is, but it's oh Chester's or something like that Chester's chicken something like that It is so good. You should try that this park right here that you see with all the palm trees This is a public park with the state-of-the-art exercise equipment for kids and adults This was just finished last year and it's in, at Publix uh, service since and in this little shopping center, there are also some nice restaurants, such as a Vietnamese restaurant, a great Mexican food, and the subway, which I believe is now out of business. Also, that little gas station shopping center has postal annex. So if you have any type of a parcel or package or shipment, you could take it there and they will gladly serve you. Uh, with their services. Uh, this is a zoomed out version or a remote uh, view of the entire housing project because you see folks you don't see the entire picture when you're driving from the street level but when, when you look at it from a bird's eye perspective or I should say higher elevation then it gives you an idea of how vast how big this housing project is when from the street level it appears like you know small little project so this entire uh, section that you see on the left is the KB homes that was just finished in 2021 and uh, this these two uh, construction sites in the front in the center of the screen is the housing project for for the three housing projects that we just uh, demonstrated that uh, little mountain on the right upper right is mount miguel saint mount saint miguel and uh, 
as we go down, that's the Aventine housing project down below. And that is the Monte Vista High School. And that, that's the middle school, uh, elementary school there. This is a park. And far, far away that you see that is uh, uh, Mount Helix. And the, f the one even further away mountain is Mission Trails. And on the left, this is our good old Dictionary Hill with many many stories to tell many historical events and that's the lake Sweetwater Lake that you see there far far away and look at that green vegetation around the lake that is so beautiful anyways I hope you enjoyed this progress report uh, update video I will be sure to bring you future updates as newer homes are being built uh, in this construction site. Thank you for watching. You may subscribe for future updates.